What's up guys, it's Eric Jr. here, and welcome back to RPG, where I cope with reality by pretending it's a video game and I'm the main character. Today we're doing an episode of Daily Quest, where I commentate over my day-to-day -day experience of becoming a successful musician. My current stats are as follows. So we're starting this episode with the night before, where I stayed up till 5 a.m. working on editing a video that's going to come out soon. So the context of this entire episode is everything was done on two and a half hours of sleep. Shout out to me. So I woke up, didn't shower, <laughs> feeling crusty as hell, because all I had time to do was make breakfast, pack my lunch, and get to work. So now we're on the way to work. It was actually a really beautiful day outside today. So nice. But of course, it's Miami, so we hit some traffic, you feel me? And yeah, you can see my face right here. It's just like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um this next clip is actually hilarious it's you, I, i'm gonna have the audio on so you can hear it and then i'll talk about it later i finished the album i finished the album oh my god oh my god i finished the album i finished the album i finished the album and it sounds so motherfucking goddamn good I'm so happy <laughs> So yeah, I'm literally at work right now, and I could get fired if one of my managers saw this high key, but it's too beautiful of a moment not to capture. I mean, the pure joy, if you guys have ever really put something together that took so much time, and like, I transformed as a person from the process of making this album. It really means so much to me, and I, I can't wait for you guys to hear it, but yeah, um, just, just fucking funny candid shit. It's, I, I don't like having to work a 9 to 5, or 9 to 6 in this case, but small moments that you can capture that you can just feel like you're really being yourself is 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 what makes life worthwhile so now i'm on lunch which is when i get my reading done and right now the book we're reading is all marketers are liars by seth godin really really dope short read um i'm gearing up for this album rollout and for the song promotion and all this stuff so just reminding myself and reinforcing this whole idea of telling stories around the music instead of just talking about the music um i guess you'll see more in real time as i execute but um yeah super dope book and now we getting up out of that bitch filming going home um let's see first thing i did when i got home was work out which felt great because it was the first time i've worked out in god knows how long and wasn't sore and just felt like you know even though i'm on two and a half hours of sleep i still felt strength and i still was able to push myself so yeah, we're just going through the motions here. And so this is funny because I actually, you can't tell, I was literally about to throw up in this video. I don't know why, but I pushed myself way too hard for whatever reason and I was hella nauseous by the end of my workout, which is a good, a good thing. It means I pushed myself and I wasn't just being a lazy bitch, which is amazing. But yeah, I don't know, it was just kind of funny. I was like, oh shit, let's go. <laughs> then we got a little dog food dinner and I was supposed to start editing as I was eating my food, but I ended up procrastinating <laughs> and watching some YouTube videos. Thankfully though, I've been really good about, even if I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching something that's music related or business related or improvement related. So I definitely implore as like a little pro tip, even if you are kind of wasting time or fucking off, if you can find a way to at least make it content that you're consuming that's related to your ultimate goal, I think it helps subconsciously kind of shift your mindset towards being more productive slowly over time because that's really what happened with me and um, I think it was a big uh, a big part of it was just not ever forgetting the ultimate ultimate goal at the end of the day but thankfully now that I have self-discipline which is crazy that I can say that sentence confidently out loud you guys have no idea how much it means to me to be able to say that um, I was able to pull back pretty quickly. I didn't waste a lot of time and I basically was editing for the rest of the night creating this video that you hear now and also at some point you see me writing stuff down. I was fleshing out the content strategy that I'm going to be using moving forward and um, just writing down the pending tasks that I have to do that are like kind of the, the next priorities and that's pretty much all I got. Um, today was definitely a successful day. I would consider it a W and if anything, if there's anything I could do better, it would be before today started like tonight for example i'm probably not gonna do this so i'm gonna be honest because i just you know what you know i know i'm gonna do it fuck it yeah i'm gonna actually start i'm gonna write down everything that i'm going to do tomorrow tonight so that way instead of kind of having one of those days where i'm like all right i think i kind of want to do this after work and i'll probably get this done yeah it sounds about right which is what today was even though it was productive it wasn't planned and uh ooh, that sounds good 
Um, I want to be more of a planned person moving forward. So that's what we're going to do right now once I stop recording this. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you watched the entire video, remember to keep growing and don't be a Magikarp. Peace.